going to do my biggest hatch. I have 68 quail eggs going into the incubator. I'm so excited. I wanted to talk a little bit about my last hatch. Um, I got 30 eggs from my Shire farm and I was kind of determined just to use the standard egg turner that comes with the Nurture 360. I still love the Nurture 360 incubator. Um, with this one, you would put two quail eggs kind of in the middle here with the standard egg turner. Um, and I watched a few videos where people did do a couple of just kind of adjustments because I'll show you in the turner, but the quail eggs go a little crazy in here. They spin like crazy. People were put in popsicle sticks. So I tried that. Um, I tried kind of everything I could find online, but the eggs were still moving like crazy. The turner would get stuck as these popsicle sticks would fall out. So out of 30 eggs, I only ended up with 14 that hatched. So it kind of did go to show that it wasn't the best idea to just use the standard egg turner that comes with the Nurture 360 for quail eggs or dove or pigeon eggs. Um, on Amazon, they have multiple options for egg turners specific for quail eggs. The greatest thing about this is this fits 68 quail eggs. So I'm super excited. I'm going to put it in there and put the quail eggs and give it a turn and you guys will see firsthand if it works for us. All right. And they all showed up in one piece. A few of these kind of ended up on top. That's okay. They're a little cold, of course, so I'm going to let them sit all day. Oh, I'm so excited. This will be our biggest hatch yet. All right, so here is an example of what happens to the quail eggs when you use just the standard turner and you want the pointy side to aim towards the bottom on all of them. But they just sort of roll all over the place. So it really wasn't ideal. Yes, I am on the floor with my incubator and that is because when I had it up on a table, as soon as I barely lifted the lid, they all jumped out and plummeted all to the ground. So I'm doing it right here on the ground. Don't mind me. But I am putting the eggs in the new egg turner that I got on Amazon. And I am finding that they are definitely different sizes. So I've had to kind of move the eggs around a little bit. And then of course, as I'm pulling out, I'm sort of checking to make sure that none of them are broken. It happens and most of the time companies will send you more than what you ordered for that reason. This one kind of has a little mark on it. I don't know if you could see. So I'll set that off to the side. So we have more options. And on this 
bad boy, you just hit the plus and minus. They seem to be turning all right, except for these outer ones. It's almost like that entire outer rack is doing me no good. Ay -ay -ay. Alright, so I've taken all the outer eggs out and we are just keeping the two middle rows, but that still leaves me with 34 eggs, so that still is one more than what I could fit in the standard. So then I will factory reset by hitting the menu and the minus. Okay, and then that is what the temperature is set at, which is perfect. Hit menu, 19 days, which is what it takes for quail eggs. And then this will stop turning three days before day 19. Okay, so luckily my friend left her incubator over here. So I have a backup. <laughs> I'm gonna put 38 quails in here. If you remember the first hatch, I put the paper towels in there to kind of hold the eggs in place. It does mess with the humidity a little bit to where you have to keep adding water maybe more often. But I do have um, sponges down in the water for the humidity as well. So we'll see. There's 38 going in. All for these spastic little crazy things. Right. Well, thanks for improvising with me there, guys. <laughs> that wasn't at all what I expected. I thought I would get that egg turner and then put 68 eggs in there and be done. But there are 34 in the Nurture 360 and then 38 fertilized eggs in the other incubator. So out of 72 eggs, we're bound to end up with some chicks and it should still be my biggest hatch ever. So fingers crossed, guys. I'll be showing you some chicks in about 19 days. They usually start on like 17 or 18 days.